hello guys welcome back to my channel technical tutorials so in this video we will see how to create database using xam server so in previous video we have learned how to install xam server in windows 11 so now let's do the database with the xam server so first of all we you need to open the xam control panel and you just need to start the apache and mysql so you can see the port number active port number once you started the xam server uh, the apache and mysql from the xam server now what you need to do just go to your chrome driver and search for localhost and just hit enter so you will navigate to the this uh, page where you can see the xam version which is 8.2 and here we have the different options so to create database we need to go to the php myadmin option so the xam server will uh, provide you option to create database to insert database to import existing database so multiple things we can do from here so you can see the new button here you just need to click on this new to create new database just give the database name so i'm creating database for employee so i'll just give name as an employee and it just create the new button once you create the database you can see the table created over here so, uh, sorry database created over here and in this we need to create the table so first i'll create table name as uh, employee details so i added employee de for details and columns i am going to add for you can just increase and decrease uh, columns which you need so i am currently taking as a four and just create now here we have the different type like one name what will be the data type for that uh, length and different attributes we have so first we will give as a emp name that is employee name and it should be in a vargar and the length i'll give as a 45 then uh, the employee id it should be in integer and the size i'm giving as a 40 then employee eid that is email id and it should be Barker and the size will be 40 and the employee phone number it should be in integer and size will be 40 so we have created the full uh, four rows and sorry four columns for this just you need to scroll down and here you have the save button just click on this save so new table will be created in this uh, employee database let's create another table for the company details so what you need to do just click on the new give the table name as company add the number of columns and just what you need to do give the details company name it should be in varchar the length will be the 60 then company address it should be in varchar and 40 as a length and the company phone number which should be integer and size will be 40 and just click on the save button so you will you have created the two tables in employee database one is for the employee details and second one for the company details so let's enter uh, data in this table so currently you can see the date the company the employee table is empty there is no data so you just need to just select this table and click on insert now here you will uh, insert the values so for name i will give the a b c d the id will be the one then email id should be abcd at the red gmail.com and phone number i'll enter the random digit 
and you just click on go button so we have let's click on go you just need to go to the table again and you can see the values inserted in table let's insert for the company table so what you need to do just select the table currently the table value is blank just click on insert and give the value so i am giving value is xyz for the company name the address will be a b c d and the phone number will be the random numbers and just click on go so it will save your data and if you want to see the uh, value inserted in table you just need to double click on this table so you can see the inserted data in table so in this way you can create uh, the database using xam server